As a member of the clergy, he had access and influence over children. Father Rodolfo Martinez Guevara, a member of Missionaries of the Holy Spirit, remains in jail tonight, charged with knowingly possessing child pornography and aggravated possession of child pornography for allegedly having more than 600 images. Some of those images and videos were of prepubescent minors as well as children who had yet to attain the age of 12. Ventura District Attorney Eric Nazarenko says some of the images depicting children in sexual act simulations were allegedly found in Martinez Guevara's cloud account. That led to his arrest in Long Beach. The operators of a cloud account suspected child sexual abuse material on one of their accounts. They in turn notified the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children tipped us off. Before his assignment in Long Beach, Rodolfo Martinez Guevara served as a deacon and a priest at this small church here, Our Lady of Guadalupe in Oxnard. Many of the parishioners and his fellow priests are shocked and devastated. It's pretty bad. Uh, saddening. Uh, yeah. Heartbreaking. Father Pedro Arteaga knew Martinez Guevara since he was a student. At the beginning, it's kind of unbelief, yet uh, I know and have seen some of the evidence, which is pretty devastating. So we will see what the court will decide, but um, in one way or the other, it's, um, it's pretty bad. We know uh, Father Rodolfo since he was a brother, he was a, a seminarian and uh, we knew him for over five years so we're very 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 sad about this happening while the circumstances are difficult to accept for people who know this 38 year old priest district attorney nazarenko says it's important to remember child pornography is not a victimless crime these are among the most horrific crimes that we see in the court system they should be met by the full force of the law Martinez Guevara remains in jail on a $750,000 bond. Arraignment has been rescheduled for September 26th.